the fires have been extinguished on the streets of London and other cities in England, but this evening there is a firestorm of controversy which is certain to spread to Jamaica. Now, one British historian is of the view that the riots were as a result of the influence of not only the black culture, but he specifically fingered Jamaican culture. He made the remarks on the BBC's Newsnight program, about which Marjorie Gordon now reports. It was only last week that the British High Commissioner reassured that the recent riots in London were not racial and would not have an impact on immigration or relations between Jamaica and Britain. There's no racial element to this. As various publications, various commentators have rightly observed, this has involved people from all sorts of different uh, origins, including British. Uh, so there's no immigrant angle to this at all. The issue of immigration, as you know, in, in the UK and indeed in other parts of Europe is always a sensitive issue. But it would seem the views of the High Commissioner does not resonate across Britain. One British historian, Dr. David Stark, is of the view that profound cultural changes have occurred and have continued since the riots. For him, a substantial section of the English society has not only become black, but has absorbed the Jamaican culture to the detriment of Britain. The whites have become black, a particular sort of violent, destructive, nihilistic, gangster culture has become the fashion. And black and white, boy and girl, operate in this language together. This language which is wholly false, which is a Jamaican patois that's been intruded in England. And this is why so many of us have this sense of literally a foreign country. The British historian stopped just short of saying the black culture is responsible for the riots. Dr. Stark equates the black culture with criminality and blames rap music, which he says glorifies violence, which he thinks many British teens gravitate towards. We used rap. We used rap to explore particular notions of masculinity, of violence, of dominance, of uh, the, the relationship between old aristocratic violent practice and modern gang culture. He said considerable damage was done to the British society and urged that the country should solve the problem by eliminating parts of the black culture. Well, I think it's a particular form. I think it, I because it really, no, no, sorry, this black, why is it so important to do so? Because this type of black male culture militates against education. Marjorie Gordon, CVM News.